Alrighty guys, I'm the devil and welcome back to Minecraft Millionaires. In the last episode guys, we set up our basic base and this episode I, I want to get a little bit more further into the quest book. And I want to do just a little bit of caving. Maybe no caving, I don't know. I feel like caving is a very boring episode but I also feel that each mod pack should have one so I think we might save a caving episode for when I need to go exploring for some stuff. Guys, I've done a bit of work between episodes. You ready? Da, 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 da. We got our little base set up. And it's a little bit more than what we had last time. If you remember the last episode, I set up a couple of these 5x5 five five farms. And it's just sort of went here, there, and everywhere. And I did like them, but I thought they were a little bit too random. And I was just laying in bed last night, trying to sleep. And I just came up with this design. I thought, what if we just push them back by, by one section, each one? Just push them back by one section. And I did it. This one goes up a level. And initially I did I did tear up like this whole thing here was, was up a level. And I decided to put it down a level because I just think it looked a little bit better. But then I, I got to here and I thought, well, it goes up one here. Then it goes up one here. So I think I'm going to just try taking up just to, to break up the symmetry. Just to break up the, the same repeating pattern. It, it does kind of work and this wasn't supposed to be sugar cane I don't know what this is um, going to be for at the minute I'm just growing sugar cane temporarily but I think we're going to change it over originally it was supposed to be for these, these canola seeds but I can't figure out how to plant them so we've got industrial hemp growing and you get them industrial hemp seeds from breaking, breaking grass everything we're growing here is basically what you get from breaking grass apart from the sugar cane the sugar cane obviously comes from sugar cane we've got wheat We've got potatoes, which sometimes don't even yield a potato. We've got carrots. Yep, that one didn't yield a carrot. I think it's just a drop chance. There is agri-craft in the pack, I believe. I'm almost certain that there's agri-craft in the pack. Is it spelled like this? Yes, so we, we can get... Oh. Yeah, 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 there they are. The crop six. So we can get these to, to produce more if we get 10 10 10 seeds but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that just yet I just needed something basic and I did a little bit of caving between episodes and I got some essence berry bushes and I'm not sure what I want to do with these yet so I thought I'm just gonna plant them temporarily and I wanted to show you guys something very very interesting if you look here these are carrots and potatoes right but they're different they're two different carrots and potatoes you see this one says carrot this one oh they both say carrot okay Okay, so they both actually say potato and carrot. Right, so one of these is grown from carrot seeds and one is grown from a carrot. Same here, one's potato seeds and one's potato. And the potato seeds, this one's grown by potato seeds. If I right click, nothing. This one's grown from a potato. I right click, it gives me a drop. And automatically replants it. And the same is true for carrots. So if you're growing them from carrot seeds, from AgriCraft, you can't right click them to get the, to get the drops. You actually have to, to, to manually break them and replant them. So see, if we broke that one, it gave us a potato and a potato seed. Break this one, it just gives us a potato. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys, just just so you know. But th today, today, you guys, was supposed to be a very, very, very productive day. I got 64 iron ore, and we're just going to go with 18, I think. I want to make some iron tools, so we're going to toss in some iron. And like that's up. I got some lava. I dug down here. All the way down. There's a there's a blizz in there. We're not gonna bother with him. I dug down to diamond level and I just vein mined some cobble. And I've been thinking about what I want to design our base out of and I want to use these futuristic blocks. These things, I think that they're gonna be really, really cool. And they require Oh, come on. They require stone, stone brick, and one redstone. So, oh, there's, there's another redstone as well. So, I've not got any redstone, but I have gone ahead and I have got some bricks and some stone. Although, I am. Oh, no, there's my stone. It's just not sorted accordingly. I also created a Jabba Barrel, and these are just very, very easy. We just type in Jabba. For some reason, my computer's being a little bit slow today. Come on. Okay. 
that's very very simple it's just some logs a slab and a chest and this just allows you to store i think it's 64 stacks of 64 in there of whatever you're you're storing so if i remember rightly it's been a while since i've played with with jabber barrels and it's shift and right click to lock it so that even if you take everything out there it would still say cobblestone so kind of happy about that so that actually completed as a quest which I didn't know about. I, I came here, I thought, one uncompleted quest, and I thought, I thought first, I thought, oh, it's probably, it's probably just one of these shop ones, but no, no, it wasn't, and I looked in here, I thought, oh, maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one, but it's not. So I end up actually figuring out that, hey, you can scroll down, and we can open this, and we can get a um, storage upgrade, which is kind of cool. And I just want to, that, that belongs in this, nope, that belongs in this chest. So this is our money, we got, we got $25 bill and $85 bills. And I think that you can actually craft these, yeah, into $10 bills, put that there. Or you could craft them down, so if we go like that, and then, can I do this into 20s? No, I can't. Okay. Can I craft them if I go like that? We get two five dollar bills. And I go That's twenty up oh. Yep, twenty-five. Can I do a fifteen dollar bill? Joe, sure, I should probably just look up yeah, the credit bills. So just look them up. Credit. So we got five. Okay, we got ten. Yeah. Credit cards? Yeah, okay. And then 25. You just gotta make a mixture of 25, basically. Yeah, okay. And then I should be able to put these together and get a $50 bill. Yeah, cool. Okay, we'll keep those in there. So, we need to get, for, for one of these quests... Oh, and I also added the these, which is just stone and cobblestone together. But man, these confused zombies. Zombies will, will see these and they'll just stand here jumping on them. They're like, they think they're trampolines. I really find it kind of hilarious myself. So we need some, some copper. And I want to do these in... And we need tin. I want to do these in stacks of 18 and I'll show you why. So if we go here and we've got our iron all nice and smelted up. We go ahead and just turn these faucets on. Did I do... To this side, no, I didn't. That was only those. And I don't want to put anything else in there because I'm not entirely certain what Mix says. But we should get. So we put in 18 iron ingots, 18 iron ore, and we should get double that back, which is what, 36? So come on. And put the copper one in. And we need, I think it's just eight of the, the ores. I'm um, getting my bearings open. So I think it was just eight of each. Yes. Eight tin, eight copper, eight iron. So, starting to get dark. I actually changed my brightness settings because they were set to moody, which normally I change straight away, but for some reason I just spaced them. It's like, you know what, I don't need to change them. And then I realized, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, you do. You do need to change them. So come on, sleep. So I don't want to start the base this episode per se. I want to just work a couple more quests in. I want to get some, some Tinker's tools up and running. So let's just grab this out. And can, we, can we sleep? Yeah, we can sleep. Cool. So I don't know if it's going to give us some casts. There's some gold down there in the mine, so we can make some casts in a little bit, which we're going to do. And there's that. Let's just grab well, might as well might as well wait. Let's toss a tin in. And let's all that out. So this will double most ores. Like almost every ore that you put in here can and will be doubled. So we got 36. We had to put 18 of each in. And I didn't want to do these off camera, I just wanted to do these on camera to show you guys sort of my process of thoughts and stuff going in. Um, I'm not going to go for heavy Tinker's tools, like the excavator, the lumber axe, and the um, the hammer, because they're not, they're not really. I don't I don't think right now they're needed. 
because we've got vein miners, so I can just vein mine the trees, so the lumber wax is redundant. The excavator is probably the only thing I would want, just because it, it would make it easier. And again, being able to mine a 3x3 is kind of irrelevant when we've got vein miner in the pack, so it gives me another another way to deal with, with, with mining as opposed to going my normal route, which I think is pretty cool, but it's kind of... You know, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't the, the, the liquid metal come out of here? <laughs> I always thought that it's a bit weird that they had this design on. Maybe the metal would be too thick. I've never actually worked in a foundry, so... There we go. We, we now got... And it takes... It actually takes the... Took more iron from us than anything. We got 250 credits, though, so that's pretty cool. One iron ingot. Um, okay. That's probably why it took us for me. Because it completed that. And we need to complete this one, which I... I kept meaning to make bread, but I kept thinking, you know what, I'll do it on camera, I'll do it on camera. So, let's just... We need three wheat for bread. Or, can we do this another way? No, that just makes seeds. Sometimes you could put the, the wheat in and just... Get wheat powder. Okay, so that's that one done. Completely done. And we've completed getting your bearings, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so tech tier one. Baby's first powder. We want a generator. Okay. So we just need a, a generator. Okay. Does that have to hand in? These do not have to be handed in. Having them in one's inventory is enough. Okay. Okay. So, before we get into that, I actually want to get our, our tool situation sorted out. So, if I go into here, no, into here, yes, sticks. And I just want to make an iron pick. Oops, nope, iron pick. Cool. And I know we could make aluminum brass, but I always like making from gold. Aluminum brass seems cheap. But let's just give, give you guys a chance to show you my mines. This is just... This is very basic, guys. It literally goes down. Down and down into the depth. Who knows what we'll find beneath. Gold and rubies, diamonds, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was never born to be a singer. But it just goes down to, to, to I think I took it to Y10. Normally I go, oh no, Y9. Normally I go to Y11. But I'm hoping there's going to be more than two pieces of gold here. Oh, there's a dense gold ore. That's brilliant. And is there anything else here? No. Did did I have any did I expose any more gold anywhere? Nope. Unfortunately there's the lava that I've been been mining and let's just Oh here, let's let's grab some redstone. Did I should get that, yeah. So I've got a feeling we are going to need some redstone ore. And we do have diamonds there. But I'm not, I haven't mined them yet. I wanted to do that on camera and I've only just got a diamond pick, so let's mine the diamonds together. Now we only got the one, I think. Seems like just the one. Oh no, we got two. Two diamonds. Cool. Okay, so we got just over a stack of redstone, which I'm happy with. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. So we're, we're living off potatoes at the minute. But yeah, guys, I, I, I sat down today and I thought, you know what? Woke up this morning and I'm like, today is going to be one of those productive days. I just, I felt really in the mood for Minecraft. I felt really inspired for this series. And I thought, you know what? I know what kind of base I want to build. I'm going to find the blocks. And then I'm just going to record. And this was like, I woke up at like half nine. For Saturday, that's quite early. But... The wife decided today of all days would be the day that our daughter's room needed doing. And every year around Christmas time, my wife and I, we usually do the daughter's room. And we usually end up with, you know, getting rid of old toys, giving away some toys that aren't broken. And before we know it, you know, our room's clear, it's empty, and it's, it's ready for Christmas. As you should always do. You should always get your kid's room ready for Christmas. You're going to buy them a bunch of new presents. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not a shift click. It says, "Hey, give me that." 
And she's just been doing that, and that's like right in the next room to where I record. So I haven't been able to record until now, but... And I'm not going to be able to get as much done now as I want. I do have a day planned. We are... The Wi-Fi and the Child watching Home Alone. The Home Alone franchise, which I haven't watched since I was a kid. My wife watches them every year. I usually am too busy to watch them. But this year, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the effort to, to try and watch more Christmas films. I'm not... I'm not much of a Christmas film kind of guy. I know I've got some stencils around here somewhere. Okay. So I want... Stencil table. I want a pickaxe head. Um, and I want a shovel. And I want a hatchet. And I think I also want a, a sword. Large blade pattern. Sword blade pattern. Okay. So you just make them like so. And then you just pop these in here. And just go ahead and, and grab out what you need. Oh. Sword blade. And now I need the hatchet. And we got we got the stone shovel, we got the sword blade pattern. So I need the hatchet and the pick. Boom. And I just go ahead and pop these in here. And gold, ten ingots. And we're just going to surround these in gold to make a cast. You could do this with aluminium, aluminium brass. So I'm just going to take that, take that. I want you. It, some mod packs destroy the um, the item that you place in. This one evidently destroys it. I just made two accents, didn't I? That's, that's not a problem. I do believe that I can smelt this down. I think so. No, I didn't make two. That's, that's a shovel. Give me that back. Okay. So we got the pickaxe, we got that, and we just need the... Of course I didn't make, make two accents because I didn't have two accents, did I? No, okay. So. What do I want? I think we're going to go... We're going to go... We're going to get bronze, I think. Come on, don't freeze on me. I hate lag spikes. Come on. Guys, I'll, I'll be right back with back. you. Back. Go, that's on my mind. So, it crashed. Um, I just think it's something that my computer does every now and again with mod packs. I don't get why. Um, but I want to make bronze gear. And bronze is tin and copper, and I just want to see if it's an even ratio, because I can't remember what the ratio actually is. No, it's not. So if I put in two copper to one tin, is that going to make me an even bronze? So let's put in two of those, one of those, two of those, one of those, and two more of those. There we go. And now it should make us bronze. Well, guys, that has smelted up, and in true typical fashion, I got interrupted by the wife. <laughs> ah, so, we're going to make our tools out of bronze. And we just do this by pouring the bronze into here. So, we're just going to do that. And that likes up. And I don't know if we can put these in here. Yes, we can. In 1.10, you have to have two separate pattern chests. Well, I don't know if it actually just sort of, like, goes on the mod pack. That could be something, so we'll just pop that there. And I got six tin ingots. I'm trying to, to figure out what the ratio is. I could just look it up. That would be the that would be the smart thing to do, wouldn't it? But I can't be bothered at the minute. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make paper bindings and paper handles. And what this is gonna allow us to do is add more modifiers to them. Because each Tinker Stool has certain modifiers. Just had to do that. Okay, so we're just going to turn this into paper. And now we're going to want a tool rod pattern. We're going to need a tool binding pattern. And we are going to need a hand guard pattern. Is this one? Crossbar pattern. Wide guard. Hand guard. I think that that's right anyway. It's been a while, so you guys will just have to bear with me. 
and it, it, it really really helps after you've made them if you actually make the parts okay so let's just make a paper binding and switch that out for this and one two three okay so the pickaxe like so and devil's pick boom it's not going to have much durability see that's 550 that's 165 that's a lot of durability change I think I'm going to go with stone let's just why did I do that it's because I'm playing Sky Factory and it's a it's a shift click to get the full lot out and it's it's not a shift click in this to get the full thing out. So Okay, so let's just go ahead and make that. And just see what, what that gives us, okay. That gives us two seven five, but mining speed of eight. This gives us five fifty. Actually, let's let's Go with this. Um, gold, gold. Am I out of gold? Did we actually use all the gold in that? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So it costs three of these just to go through one of those. Okay, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to get a little bit more gold together. I'll come back to you when I've done that. Welcome back. I got some more gold and I popped it in here and we got a cast and now I'm just awaiting on iron because I want to make the, the handle out of high end. I'm hoping because in 1.10 it does have the magnetic effect and I, I don't know if it does in 1.7.10 because I never paid attention before. So we're going to find out real real soon. But let's just grab these back. Let's just pop those over there for now. Oh wait I need my bindings. Where's my binding? I'm sure I made a paper binding. I'm like 99% certain I made a paper binding. Maybe maybe I didn't make the bindings. Oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know where it is. It's in the, um, the, the tool forge. Okay, so the iron. Just make one of these. Okay, iron tool rod. It'll be here, here. Okay. That gives it 714. Bam! Iron Claude. As in John Claude. Van Damme. That kind of Claude. I think I might have spelled that wrong. Not Claude as in the Claude that Wolverine has. So, let's just make a couple more of these. I'm going to need three more. One, two, and three. Now, 1.7.10 tinkers I like because of how quick it is you know it's so much quicker but I do like the functionality of 1.10s one okay now I don't believe that these needed a um, a, um, a binding oh, that's not what I wanted a hatchet Oops. there we go so Last one is this, and this requires that guard. Okay, I thought for a, I thought maybe I did the wrong guard. So let's just do that, and I want to make this from paper. So where's where's this? Okay, paper. Oh, can I not make that from paper? Um. Okay, I can make it from stone. It looks like it's going to have to be stone because we don't have any obsidian netherrack. Certus quartz I have, but I don't really want to use it. Um, so I think we're going to just make that out of stone. Nope, it's, it's not the shift click. I'm getting there until I play Sky Factory later. Okay, so let's just go to here. That, that. And that, and then we just get rid of all these horrible vanilla tools. Pop that away. Cool. Now the question is, does it actually? Was there any quests to do that? 
Okay, so we've got here. No. Tech shop. No. Where's the one that we've got? Magic. We've got magic? Okay. That's getting into Britannia, which we will get into. I've got it into Britannia before, but never on camera, so. It would be really cool to get into that. But guys, I'll be right back with you in just a little bit. My apologies, guys. I got interrupted as usual. So, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were checking the quest book after making our Tinker's Tools to see what else we had unlocked. But I think... I'm wondering if there's... I'm sure I saw something with, with Tinker's Tools in it. Okay. Okay, that's, that's a... That's not the Tinker's Tools. Um, okay. Future now. Is this it? I could have sworn. Nope. I, okay, maybe I'm just losing it. But I do want to get one thing set up this episode. I do want to complete one thing in the quest book, and that's a generator. So. And it looks like it's this industrial craft generator, which is an iron furnace. So we need some iron. Okay, that's, that's, that's not... It's not too bad, although I've never used these before. I've never used these ones before. We need some refined iron ingots, which is... Smelting iron. Okay, okay, that, that's doable, so... And we need one of these batteries, which means I need a cop... Okay. So, copper and rubber. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit of stuff to do here. So, oh, my apologies, guys. I wondered why everything sounded a bit quiet. I ain't got my headphones plugged in. Give me a minute. It shouldn't take more than a couple of bob seconds. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and take this iron and dump it into the furnace. Okay, so we've got this bronze in here. I should have actually probably got all this out. I tell you what, let me get these ingots together and cast down, and I'll come back to you with an update in just a little bit. Welcome back, and I've gone ahead and I've got everything smarted down apart from Osmium. They're the only ones that, that was left. Oh, I left these in here. But we don't need that for what we're doing, so let's quickly go through this. We need rubber, which you get by smelting just this raw rubber. Joe, you in before I can actually use raw rubber. Let's just, let me check this. No, it's actually showing me that it needs to be a rubber bar. Okay. So I think we're going to go for, I think it was this one, wasn't it? Machine block, which is eight refined iron. This is three refined iron. And so this one is actually cheaper if we go this method. So let's grab this. We've got the copper. We need iron. Well, we don't need iron. We need cobble. And we need refined iron, which you get by just smelting normal iron. I think we just chucked that in earlier on in the episode. If not, you guys at least now know. Okay, so let's make a... Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I didn't grab enough. Okay. So let's make some of these. That's six. Let's make a furnace. Yeah, and let's make a... Oh, no. Hey, wait, no. I took too many. Machine block. So it's that. And a furnace. And a... No, it's not. What? What? what, what? How do I make the, the battery? What was the battery again? Let's have a little look. The battery was some redstone with tin. Okay. A redstone. Tin. And it was what? Like this, I, I want to say? No. No, I'm completely wrong. How how far off am I? Oh, right. I just needed that. I'm going to make just a couple of those. Just in case we ever need another one. And then it's the battery, the furnace, and the block. No, the other way around. Generator. Cool. And that should have completed us a quest. Open. Yes! That's completed that one, which means we can go to storing power... We can go to Creosoy, and I believe that these generators, once you break them, they're like, gone forever. So, 
I don't think that you can actually mine them. But... Do we just, like, put coal in there? Let's just grab some coal. And it looks like... Yeah, yeah, this, this is where it stores the power that it generates, I think. But yeah, we got a little generator, and this is new to me, so I'm going to really enjoy playing around with this. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode, so if you've enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, and click subscribe if you want to see more. I'm the Devil, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!